Well, I didn't think we were going to have much to put on the internet for uh, YouTube videos over the winter. But then Richard came up with a bright idea. How much did you pay for this thing? Three hundred and fifty dollars. 1955 Jeep CJ5 has a really good hood <laughs> and <laughs> the windshield's good and he's been patching on the fenders but uh, the body is kind of rusty all around the edges and uh, around the back and uh, especially this corner just gone yeah. uh, and that rocker yeah, yeah just nothing yeah, so it's really nothing so an awful lot of body work so uh, Richard decided what he'd do is put on a whole brand new body. So they, they got them for sale. You can buy them for like $4,000 around there. So he ordered one and it's coming. It's supposed to be here the day after Thanksgiving. The thing runs all right. It's got a plow and the plow works and everything. But uh, yeah, they're supposed to deliver it on Friday, uh, the 24th of November. And uh, so we're not really sure they're going to do that because it's, uh, you know, most people have that day off. Yeah. So now, I mean, I've already started unbolting it. That's yeah. why the door's flopping around right now. Yeah. We want to take the added extras off so that we can get to the chassis. Yeah. Then i got to clean that tank out and see if it's actually usable. Oh, yeah, that's the one under the seat. Yeah, yeah. And i got a fuel cell hooked up in the back so it works good that way. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The first time I got it, when we had it in the woods, I was hitting the, the high beam, low beam switch, thinking that was the, the starter switch because oh. it's a floor starter. Yeah. But it's actually in the middle oh. <laughs> by the shifter. You have to put your gas foot all the way over yeah. in order to try and crank it over. And for some reason, it stopped working the last time I tried to start it. So. Oh. But I started with the booster pack. So yeah, that the, was the guy's patch job right there on the floor, huh? Yeah, beautiful repairs. <laughs> uh, but, got a speedo meter. She got uh, the three different handles, uh, two handles for the yep. high and low range. Yeah, uh, it's a little tag on the dashboard. I don't know if it comes with it. This other thing, another one comes oh, with yeah. the dashboard. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll probably cut that tag out and put it on the other dash. Yeah. Just go a little higher and make some screw holes and that way I don't have to buy a sticker for it. Well, it looks like crap now, but it's going to be beautiful when it's done. And all you lucky viewers are going to watch and see how the process goes and how much trouble it is and whether it's worthwhile to have a brand new 1955 CJ5. Which, by the way, is the first year for the CJ5. I think it comes with a tailgate that says Willie's on it. It does? I think so. The lady I talked to on the phone to mention the uh, Willie's tailgate. But... So that's why I think we're getting a Willie's tailgate. No, I mean, if not, I mean, they still got the bottom hinges. Yeah, that one's uh, you know, repairable if we have to, I guess. We repair this one if we have to, yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. Let's look at all the hooks. Yeah. Basically, got everything to it. I, I guess I'm going to have to take the steering box out, get it up in the air and drop the steering box out before I take the body off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's still got a lot of little pad, pad pins and stuff too, which is good. Yeah. I think the picture on the internet, they have the dashboard in there. Yeah. Actually, that's what the windshield hooks onto, so I don't know. Right, right. Windshield would be great, but it's fixable. Mm, yeah, I don't think the windshield the comes with run it. Wipers, but actually, this is the, an electric. Oh yeah. Somebody replaced this one with electric. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> and this must be the vacuum line for the original wiper. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I don't know. This comes over to this little compartment over here, and I don't see any. Somebody said it's a wash reservoir, but I don't see any way to fill the dang thing. So I don't know. No. Nope, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Huh. But I did take the plow light off the top because I figured maybe I'll get this top off today. I yeah. Don't know how heavy it is. But yeah. Most of it unbolted too. So. Well, we'll see if we can't lift it off after we get it all unbolted, huh? 
But I guess we gotta take the doors off first. first. Get the doors, yeah. Doors and all the, those screws there, I couldn't unbolt them, so I gotta cut them. Oh. Well, that's something we'll have to work on later. I think we're going to put it back on. And, uh, I'm not sure what those are. But the, those are the plow controls. That the plow controls? Yeah. This has got the added, um, angle pistons now. Oh. So back in the day, you used to have to just pull the pin and then turn the plow by hand. Yeah. But somebody added pistons for the for the um, plow to turn. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm missing one of my rings. You can see it on the ground up when I was there, so I don't know. I think it might have a couple of rings out back that might fit it too, though. There's, there's a bunch of old stuff out there. Yeah. Anyways, we're Oh, the brakes all done? Did you get the brakes done on this? No. No, no I haven't so touched the brakes yet. Got no brakes yet. Yeah, no brakes yet. The brake pedal doesn't even move, so. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, wheel cylinder is, man, wheel cylinder is in master cylinder. Sorry. Yeah. So they just go online and order. Yeah, the people that we ordered the, um, the body from keeps sending me all these advertising things now in the email. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got one of my straps stayed alive all this time. I unhooked it the other day. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I guess this whole piece here is part of the door frame, but of course I got to take it off first. It's just there to reinforce it, make it so that the door seals. I guess. Yeah. And we got that's the old seals that they used on it. I thought mm -hmm. I had all four panes of glass. And I was thinking I have to fix eventually, but I only see, I only got three so far. But, huh. I still got a whole bunch, but it might be in underneath that tire too. They got the fuel cell sitting on, on, on the spare tire right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get my ear protection and cut these screw heads off. So that way, All right. Noisy. Compressor and everything. these plates there? Uh, I don't think it did. Uh, uh, somebody just put the top on there just to yeah. keep the rain off the gas. Or they just didn't bother buying the doors. I don't know. Mm. Welded it? Oh, they did. Oh, it's welded? They, well, they put this patch in. They welded oh. it there.
teeth done. Uh, you ever think of maybe replacing it with a soft top so you could take it off in the summertime? Fold your windshield down? Huh? No, it's not well, a very pretty. Yeah. Just because it looks better. <laughs> yeah. Creatures live in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely cobwebs. There's some pretty good sized cobwebs out, out back there. It was, this was full of it oh. when, I, when it was done. I can see a nest in there too. Right along the side. And it's actually got heat duct from that old heater core that was in there. But if you just keep going, it's a lot of dirt. Yeah. Yeah, it actually. Maybe that was maybe that wasn't the same Jeep aftermarket body because that would be for the doors. I mean, you know, usually the, the the canvas doors would go right inside. Yeah. And this one didn't have that, so maybe that was just a, a cheaper cabin set that somebody put on here, and it just went over the top rather than versus inside like it's supposed to. Another ground. It was, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right. door gone. body mounts. <laughs> These pieces were just welded in to hold it up so it wasn't sinking down over the frame. I don't know if this cab is savable, I suppose. Some sheet metal might be able to fix it. See any tail lights anywhere? Uh, I think that's single filament. That ain't a tail light. Yeah, I think he backed into too much stuff with him. Yeah. <laughs> using the plow, I throw it. Too tight in there to really get anything. Out, so. Must have been because it was new. I was able to get a wrench up in there, a socket. And this one not so much. So I think that one's already been loosened up some. Yeah, that one I've already loosened up some.
guess so. It's almost got my finger. Yeah, yeah. find the welds on there and drill it. That still works. Yeah. That crit is living there. I was wondering what, how they got in there, but then I looked, when I had it up on the lift, I noticed that the whole sides on both, both areas here are gone. Yeah. So that's how they got in. Locks too. I guess you could lock it with that too, I guess, huh? Is that what they're using? I, guess, I guess so. Ammo box maybe, built in. Oh, fair sunglasses. Oh. A bonus. <laughs> kind of banged up with the sunglasses still. So I think this, this seat does not look the same as this one here. Uh, that's why I'm wondering maybe that that was another aftermarket thing they put in. No, I think I don't think this one was supposed to hinge. I think it was just that yeah, one. Just that one, but I mean, yeah. what I'm saying is the, the oh, stitching is yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Somebody might have changed that. Although this one here looks like it probably was redone because it's uh, got nothing, no design features except yeah, for the welding yeah. here. That, I mean, you got to rip on this side, but yeah. still fairly comfortable. Well, those are the other bolts for it, I guess. Yeah. Body mount bolts there. But I think those are the only mounts that are, mount bolts that are holding it down in this very back section. Here. Oh yeah. And on the other side there. Yeah. Other than that, there's nothing left of anything. I just take the cut off wheel and cut around it. <laughs> well, when I put it up in the air, I just cut the bottom bottom bolt right off. And yeah. Be good to go. So now it just looks like a regular Jeep, huh? Oh yeah. One of the photos that will fold down. Or it's really rusty. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Whoops. <laughs> uh, well, it folds. It's really folding. You got some wire here that doesn't want, doesn't like it. But oh yeah, the electric good. life motor. Yep. Son of a gun. That's, okay, that's a seal. We're ready to go for our safari. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I got to replace the metal in here where this is. Yeah. That's where another mouse nest was. That's where it is. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. And yes, there's some screws there, but I guess I gotta unscrew the seal, the window seal to get that unscrewed. But either that or I can take it off of here first. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's the duct work for the heater. Yeah. Well, I guess. I was thinking that I got a good heat box in that mercury down there. I was gonna take it out. Yeah. But at the same time, if I do, I should just see if I can find a. I'll take the. I'll take this heat box out. I should see if I can find an actual heat of core. Uh, just take that apart. And use the yeah. Box. I don't know. It looks like maybe a '65 Mustang heater box would I fit know, in right? there. Except that they threw a Willys thing on there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you can stick it inside the box. Yeah. yeah. You know, just yep. take the core out. Right. Might have to drill different holes for the outlets. But you can have a nice Willie's covering over it with the Willie's tag. So this is going to be sort of a frame off restoration, but I know, right? Yeah. Clean the frame, paint it. But uh, back here, I'll, I've got some strips of steel that can actually reinforce it better. The outer edges were getting are getting thin. Yeah. So Uh, 
Uh, of steel. Yeah. They can run those over the outer edges to reinforce them. Jeff was looking online and he found some plate steel. Yeah. Squares. I already cut a section off with the plasma cutter. We had that underneath um, someone's truck when we lifted it up trying to you know, support it a little better and we bent it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of bending the frame on the truck, huh? So instead of bending the frame on the truck, you put that plate in there? Yeah. Yeah, I know I had a Cadillac that I lifted up on my lift, and the lift went right through the bottom of the frame. See if it'll start so we can put it outside. I did last time. My switch failed. So I did this. Careful, I don't know if it's gonna. Yeah, it was. That didn't sound good. Sounds good. A little. For the winter, or at least till next week when the body shows up. <sighs> it's chilly. Yeah. <laughs> 